Please welcome to stage Ryan County. Oh yeah, Cap City Comedy Club, Austin, Texas. Moms are out, dads are in. Round of applause. 2015. Let's begin. Who here loves titties? We're talking women's tits. Women, you got them. You you flaunt them. You're looking good, girl. Come on, give me a little wiggle room. Titties. Titties. You and them hanging out right now, titties. Sir, I know you love them titties. Come here, you're acting all nonchalant. Get up, no, let's do, I don't want to pretend like your hand's one. <laughs> titties. Okay, well, guess what? Women are human beings, you sick pick. Capace, you gotta treat them with uh, respect, passion. Okay, you gotta give this broad compliments. Buy a trick of jewel. <laughs> Put the jewel on her. Say, you look good in that jewel, girl. Because <laughs> then maybe she'll show you them titties. <laughs> Round of applause. Women in materialism. Women in materialism. Women in materialism. <laughs> Women. Uh, I have been single most of my life. And it's not like, uh, it's not because of lack of, like, trying. Or, uh, I'm just broke. I just don't ha ever have any money. And, okay, before I get started with my uh, comedy script, uh, I don't want to be, like, there's a stereotype of stand-up comedians, I'm sure you saw tonight. Like, I don't want to get trapped in that stereotype. I don't want to be that stand-up comedian that comes up here and just like, oh, I'm just... I'm just this big old noodle head, single, broke, drug addicted, sad sack, stand up comedian with this big old dick. Like, I don't wanna. <laughs> get trapped in that stereotype, but. <laughs> they say talk about what you know, so. And I'm broke, I don't have any money. And it's not, I'm, I'm trying to pick up some money. Like, I'm, I got sponsorships. I actually, okay, before I get my comedy script going, um, let me give a quick shout out to my sponsor. I'm contractually obligated to talk about my sponsors. Um, I won't have it on a shirt like Yusuf did, but. <laughs> uh, so real quick, let's get it out of the way and then I can get my set going. Uh, so real quick, Mountain Dew, my unofficial official sponsor. Uh, Mountain Dew, get it in ya. Chug a Dew, shred it, rip it, throw some pegs on your Heelys. <laughs> hit, it, hit a rail on the way to work. Mountain Dew. As my buddy Chris's roommate, AJ, says, uh, do you, but do the do. Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm also legally obligated to give this disclaimer. Mountain Dew is not for children under the age of six. Okay, I had a niece last Thanksgiving who cracked into my 12 pack of Code Red, his CR, MTND CR, <laughs> is what it's known on the streets. And my six year old niece uh, shotgunned about four to six Mountain Dew Code Reds and her entire exploded into her body exploded. She died. She overdosed. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys can laugh and clap about it. <laughs> A six-year-old made-up niece died last Thanksgiving. I don't buy. It's a bit. I don't buy a code red. I'm an OG guy. Original green. Uh, <laughs> No, so I mean that sponsorship pays absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm s still broke, and it's crazy. Like being broke at well, so I never thought at the age of 48 I'd be this broke. First of all, <laughs> I thought you just get money when you get older. <laughs> but that's what five kids and two divorces will do. 
And like, I don't, I don't even do any drugs. Like, I'm just financially stupid. Like, I don't even, and I know you're looking at me and you're probably like, oh, this guy? Yeah, this, this looks like a guy that maybe buys and or sells large quantities of illegal marijuana weed. Not the case. I don't even do drugs. This is just poverty. So what? I'm very, I'm a very perverted. I'm pervert. I s- spend my money stupidly. I spend my money. Uh, I'd say 50% of my profits uh, and my income go towards uh, swords and sword accessories. And. The other 50% go to, uh, I probably spend the other 50% on a weed and vocal lesson. I actually do smoke a lot of weed, and uh, maybe that's why I can't get a good job. (laughs) I don't even pay for vocal lessons, that's all natural. I actually, I did have a job. Um, okay, let me tell you about this job I had, this job story, and then I'll get my set started. I, uh, <laughs> I used to be a nanny for these millionaire kids, like a uh, professional nanny for these millionaire kids, uh, which was easily the greatest job that I ever had. Like, I basically did everything I was going to be doing anyways. <laughs> like, me and the kids watched the same cartoons. Uh, <laughs> we built the same Legos. I just had to do it all not high and in a mansion and if i can be honest with you uh children don't know what being high is you can get high around kids if you take anything away from the show tonight uh it's go go smoke dope around children not dope don't do heroin they'll know smoke weed about around children don't. That's obviously a joke. Um, children are very, very sobering. It's a waste of weed. So, all right. Thank you, guys. <laughs>